So yes, Mr. Asmin Kare, first of all, I would like to congratulate on for being shortlisted uh, for HPCL interviews. So first of all, welcome to Abhiyan Batch. Let's introduce. Okay, so shall I start, uh, start soon? Yes, please. So, I said, so, okay. So, my name is Asmit Kare, and I am currently an undergraduate student uh, in final year in BTEC Chemical Engineering from Dharam Singh Desai University, Nadia. My current uh, uh, score is 8.63 uh, till 7th semester. I am currently undergoing uh, my sum, uh, summer internship from uh, Gujarat Alkalis and Chemicals Limited, Badrutra. And I am also undergoing a uh, project. Uh, in my college in the topic of green ammonia production. Uh, uh, apart from that, I have also participated in many extracurricular activities. I was uh, a technical team member and head for almost two years in Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers in my college. And along with that, I have uh, completed many courses such as chemical process technology and disaster management from IACHE uh, through online, uh, online medium. Okay. So that's fine. Just uh, tell me more about uh, the internship we are, uh, you are doing currently in GACL, right? So what are you yes, learning in which segment you are? Sir, uh, in the GACL, I have been allotted the plant of caustic soda and chloromethane production. Uh, for the first two months, I was in the caustic soda plant and uh, currently I am in chloromethanes. Okay, just uh, tell me the process of preparation of caustic soda. Yes, sir. Sir, the caustic soda is, uh, the raw materials for caustic soda production is mainly uh, salt and uh, it is it has been carried out uh, through mixing salt and water through electrolysis process. The process uh, called is a membrane cell process. Uh, earlier it was used, uh, the diaphragm cell process, but uh, due to uh, many pollution uh, causing agents in that process, we shifted to the membrane cell process. Uh, in this process, salt is firstly saturated with water in brine saturator and then it is then uh, purified to remove uh, impurities like calcium, magnesium and sodium because in the membrane cell process the impurities damage the electrolyzer. So we need to filter the impurities and then uh, we achieve the concentration of 32% in the electrolyzer to from NaCl to NaOH in electrolyzer. And apart from that the byproducts we generate is uh, hydrogen and chlorine which we separate out through NaOH and we then, we then sell it uh, differently. Uh, the NaOH is then purified in, a, in the evaporation unit to concentrate it up to 48%. And in extra demand, we can also concentrate it, uh, it up to 96%. Fine. Just tell me, uh, you didn't mention about the electrolytic process. You mentioned about uh, you mentioned about membrane cell process. Another you said another you said diaphragm cell process. So you forgot about electrolytic cell process, right? Is it? Okay. In GSCL, you are using membrane cell process, right? Okay. Membrane cell process. Yeah, fine, fine. No issues. So there is one more process that is mercury cell process, right? Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, just, sir. Just tell me about it. Sir, in the mercury cell process, the the cathodes and anodes we used to have was uh, made up of mercury. Cathodes were made of mercury and uh, usually anode is made up of titanium because chlorine is very prone to mild steel. So we cannot use mild steel or uh, graphite. We you need to use titanium. So, but uh, in the cathode side, we used mercury and mercury, as you know, is a very harmful pollutant and it is very costly to remove in the ATP and uh, treatment. And uh, uh, according to the new government guidelines, mercury uh, level is reduced. Is has have to be reduced uh, below 50 ppm. It is very costly to remove. So we switched to the membrane cell process. Uh, we have also contact. Uh, uh, means we have uh, bring that technology from Germany. Imported the technology from Germany. Fine. Uh, just uh, write down the reactions which are occurring on anode as well as cathode, in in both. Okay. In the mercury cell process as well as as well as the membrane cell process, right? Right, the reactions okay, occurring sir. at anode as well as cathode. And just tell me. Okay. Sir. Yes.
sir i am currently not com uh, i mean i mean i am not able to balance the electron but the reaction uh, the raw hmm. reaction that we used to have is uh, uh, wait a minute blur as well. just read it uh, okay. sir in the anode uh, we have uh, nacl and okay. anode side we have nacl and that it separates into na plus and cl minus mm -hmm. uh, the cl minus is then combined with electron to uh, to form cl2 cl2 uh, mm -hmm. And in the cathode side, we have uh, the Na, uh, the Na plus that was separated is uh, transported to semi-permeable membrane, and mm -hmm. then combines with the OH minus ions that we get from water, mm -hmm. so to form NaOH. NaOH, right? So there is formation of amalgam, right, in mercury cell. What, what is that amalgam? Yes, sir. Mercury amalgam. Ah, mercury amalgam. What is that? And is it beneficial for the process, or is it not beneficial for for the process, or is it hazardous or harmful? Sir, I am not completely aware about this, but I guess it was uh, harmful. Hmm? I am not aware, sir. I am not able to recall about okay. it. Fine, fine. Just tell me about the project which you are currently doing. Sir, I am currently uh, doing a project of uh, process modeling and simulation for green ammonia production. Okay, so you are currently... Uh, okay. Which software you are using? Sir, I am uh, currently using S10 Plus software. Okay, you are working on S10 Plus. Is it steady or dynamic? Steady simulation is sir, uh, hmm. sir, steady, steady. Steady only? But yes. steady to nothing is there. In steady to that project is, I mean to say that it is going to be a waste of time. Means the project is not project. The project is not called as project when you do it in steady, right? Sir, actually the project was allotted in the third year and it was said to us that first of all you need to learn the software using steady mode. And then I am currently switched to dynamic mode, sir. Achha, you have switched, right? Yes, sir. So what is the difference between steady and dynamic? Sir, in steady mode, sir, uh, there is no, uh, not much variation of the variables that we uh, uh, introduce in the pro, uh, system. Mm -hmm. While in the dynamic, sir, multi-variable uh, system and all degrees of freedom and all that we need to take care of. Okay, just you mentioned about degree of freedom. What is that degree of freedom? Sir, uh, degrees, uh, degrees of freedom is the uh, um, uh, the number of variables that which are, uh, which are available and the number of equation we need to solve. The difference between them is uh, known as the degree of freedom. For agiotropic system, what is the, for agiotropic system, right? Or agiotropic mixture? For agiotropic mixture, what is the degree of freedom? Can you find out? Uh, for azeotropic an mixture, sir. Uh, an azeotropic mixture of ethanol and water. Find out the degree of freedom. Uh, sir, there are two components and there are two phases. So, a degree of freedom would be one, sir. How come there are two phases? Sir, uh, sir, there are two phases now in a liquid and uh, vapor. How is, how is vapor, vapor, uh, ethanol, the mixture of ethanol and water, in the mixture of ethanol and water, how can you say that there are two phases? It is only liquid, sir. Uh, as yes. you... The, I said okay, mixture okay. of ethanol and water. Do you know Okay, that? okay, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. So yeah. Two components and one phase. So, uh... yes, go on. You are not audible, I think so, Asmit. Hello? Uh, yes, Asmit. Batao, batao, answer. You got muted, I guess. Up, 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 camera, uh, take a minute, DJ. So yes, I was something somewhere here, right? F plus P is equal to C plus two minus R minus S, right? Now find out the yes, degree of freedom. What is that? Uh, sir, there are two components and uh, we have specified that we have the azeotropic mixture. So, uh, 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 yes, R would be one. And, uh, any other uh, property is not mentioned, so S would be zero. Why S would be zero? It's an agiotropic mixture, no? So as we have to take, right? As we have to take, special constant is there. 
it's an azeotropic mixture yes yes sir so the degree of freedom is how much 2 uh, 2 fine okay no such questions are going to be asked but i was checking your basics right yes sir i caught you there itself when did you said that uh, when you assume two phases fine okay over to uh, the next question as you said the you are basically ammonia project is on ammonia right yes sir green ammonia green ammonia fine what is green ammonia sir the green ammonia is the ammonia that we manufacture uh, without uh, emitting any the carbon and uh, uh, different pollutants into the atmosphere uh, it it is used uh, it is produced through uh, methods like electrolysis or through biomass or through different renewable energy sources sir. just uh, which is like ammonia is prepared majorly from which process sir ammonia is conventionally measured through uh, haber bosch process yes what is that sir uh, it is it uses nitrogen and hydrogen to produce ammonia through yes. uh, reactor and all which catalyst is used there sir uh, uh, iron or molybdenum catalyst is used iron and molybdenum right and promoter yes. is used as sir uh, about promoter i am not aware sir platinum right okay. okay just tell me the role of just tell me the role of catalyst and promoter in this reaction sir catalyst uh, uh, helps the uh, the raw material to pass the activation uh, to pass any uh, activation energy to take part in the reaction because nitrogen is, uh, is an inert component mm -hmm. and we need to uh, uh, provide extra temperature and pressure along with the catalyst so that nitrogen takes part uh, in the reaction and uh, the promoter is that uh, uh, it uh, it helps in proper uh, like we have the arenas arenas theory in the cre so it helps in proper collision of the reactant to yield a, a particular product okay fine fine no issues one last question i would be asking you theek okay? hai just tell me about positive cat po positive catalyst and negative catalyst what are the roles of this uh positive catalyst sir negative catalyst is called as inhibitor right mm, yes sir okay just tell me and positive catalyst is called as uh, promoter promoter right right fine just tell me the role of this sir uh, promoter uh, is a type of catalyst that which promotes any the production of any one kind of product sir inhibitor i think sir it uh, does not allow any one uh, or we can see any product which uh, it in, 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 inhibits the production of any one product sir because there are several reactions okay fine asmit i will stopping the recording uh, you are exceptionally doing well i want your selection to be done in hpcl your technical knowledge is also strong just uh, keep your presence of mind body language is also good no issues in that delivering the answer that is also fine no issues in that okay uh, the thing is uh as a as an undergraduate fresher you are so mostly the questions which i have asked related to that only they are going to ask you fine so yes. basically basically focus on this concepts only and some word basics uh, that you are aware right which as you are studying and such studying for a gate to yes so focus me and aapka yes, lecture rank aa raha to basics aapka clear hi hoga usme koi dikkat nahi hai kab hai aapka interview सर मेरा इंटरव्यू ट्वेल्थ मार्च को अहमदाबाद में बारह ही मार्च को है ठीक है ठीक है तो देखे आओ अच्छे से है ना और फोकस करके जाओ ठीक ये मत अभी दिमाग में डालो कि बार का पेपर सोलह तारीख को है तो मेरे को बार का भी एग्जाम देना है है ना दिमाग में सिर्फ एक ही चीज रखो फिलहाल के लिए फिलहाल के लिए रखो एच ठीक है चांसेस बहुत है तुम्हारे ओके मैं इसलिए तुम्हें कह रहा हूँ कि तुम्हारा सिलेक्शन हो सकता है बाकी गेट में कितने नंबर आ रहे हैं सर फिफ्टी वन मार्क्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली बन गए 51 मार्क्स बन रहा है फाइन दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी गुड नंबर तो तुम्हें आईआईटी बॉम्बे वैसे भी मिल जाएगा है ना तो टेंशन की बात yes, नहीं है 51 मार्क्स पे ठीक है बार का कॉल नहीं आएगा बट देर आर बहुत सारे कॉल आ जाएंगे तुम्हें ओके okay, उसका टेंशन मत लो बार जाएगा जाने दो एन का कॉल आएगा अगर मान लो वैसे तो तुम क्लियर करोगे मुझे प्रॉब्लम एक मिनट 